Is there a way to ease the student debt burden that wasn't available, say, 10 years ago? Uh, yes and no. Um, Income-driven repayment is a huge tool that folks can use as they're getting started particularly. So that uh, those are some federal repayment programs that allow you to have your student loan payment based on your income, which can be huge, particularly when you have a debt to income ratio that's greater than two, which a lot of graduating veterinarians have. Uh, there is also a program, a federal program available called Public Service Loan Forgiveness. That can help to pay your loans off to zero, I mean, without a taxable uh, forgiveness at the end if you do the right kinds of things. So if you work for the right kind of organization, make the right kind of payments towards your loans, and you utilize the right repayment programs. So those are ways that you can um, better manage your student debt. In terms of not taking on as much. Unfortunately, the, the game is a little bit different than it was 10 years ago. Uh, veterinary school is much more expensive. There's way more opportunities to um, put yourself into a seat that is much more expensive than it was 10 years ago. So making sure that you're really careful about applying to veterinary school and looking for those opportunities that will, res will reduce your costs to the lowest levels possible. So. A, um, applying as an in-state resident is almost imperative now. Um, or attending a school that allows you to change from a non-resident to a resident for tuition classifications uh, after the first year, and there's a number of schools out there. But if you have to borrow funds to pay for your education, attending a private or non-resident um, rate is probably going to set you back as a, as a veterinarian.